Hey everyone! My name is Sarah Johnson and I'm a pediatric occupational therapist and certified lactation counselor here at Emerge Pediatric Therapy. I am here today to talk with you about three ways you can use an exercise ball to promote your infant's gross motor development. For this demonstration, I'm going to use a small exercise ball because in the clinic I do a lot of my treatment on the floor and this is the size I use. But you can use any size exercise ball you have at home, you just might have to change where you're sitting. So you might need to be on the couch or in a chair to raise yourself up a little bit just so that you feel like you have control over the ball and the infant is close to where your torso is um, for more stability and st support. The first exercise I love to work on on the exercise ball is tummy time. And you can start this with infants as early as birth um, when you start working on tummy time at home. For this, the important thing with tummy time is you always want to make sure that the elbows are below the shoulder in a plank position, especially for the first three months when infants are first starting on tummy time. So you're going to help position your infant with their elbows under their shoulders. And there's a couple different movements you can do during tummy time. So you can slowly go backwards and forwards. You can also slowly go side to side with infant. The more that you push the infant's head away from you, the harder it's gonna be for them to lift their head. So this is a good way to grade tummy time or either make it easier or harder based on how the infant is doing that day. So pulling it back towards me, it's gonna be easier for them to lift up their head farther away, the harder for them to lift up their head. Um, one thing I really like about being on the ball is that the infant is raised up a little bit. They're closer to where I am. So this is a great activity to do in front of a mirror because I can be interacting with them while they're doing it. And they're more likely to engage for longer periods of time if they're doing it with someone. The other position you can do for this is you can do some rocking back and forth. I like this for infants that are a little bit older. So looking closer to that three and four months because the rocking back and forth is working on weight shifting which is a precursor for both rolling and for crawling. So that can be a great way to work on it as well. And then the next exercise that I love to work on on the ball is actually side lying. And this is a position that I typically recommend families start with um, when infants are young. So around one month of age, you can start working on side lying. Um, and this is a great position, especially if you do tummy time on the ball, infant gets a little bit tired, you can switch to side lying and then go back to tummy time and kind of rotate. So for this position, you want to make sure that the elbow is bent and under the shoulder, again, that plank position. And then I tend to hold right around the base of the shoulder for this exercise. And then I'll also put um, a hand between their legs here uh, so that I feel like I have support on both their shoulder and their pelvis. And for this exercise, you can go back and forth. You can go front to back. This exercise is wonderful for infants that have torticollis because they're going to be working on pulling their head up so that weaker side is going to be pulling, pulling, and pulling and working on that midline control. A way you can make sideline easier is come a little bit more vertical so that infants work on picking their head up there. This can also be a very motivating position for infants because they're trying to bring their head to midline. They're trying to engage those neck muscles to look at something on that side of the room. And then you can go back and then work on coming back up, pulling head to midline and back the other way. The important thing to note with side line is you always want to make sure that you do both sides. So if I'm going to work on side leg with an infant, I'll always do it back to back one side and then the other, um, just so that I always make sure that I'm getting both sides in. And then finally, the last position I like to work on on the ball is actually sitting. Um, and infants really love this position because they're getting the vestibular input, which is the movement of their inner ear. They're getting proprioceptive input through bouncing. And it's a great way to work on that dynamic core control. So when infants are on the ball, you always want to make sure there's a little bit of a bend in their knee. You don't want their legs to be straight out um, because if their legs are straight out, they're actually using their hips and not their core. So I'll come in, I'll just get a little bend in the knee. I will typically support the infant's pelvis just so that they have a steady base of support and I have control over where they are, they are on the ball. And you can work on going again forwards and backwards. You can also work on going to side to side and side to side is actually going to work on the riding reactions, which are when an infant goes to one side, the fact that they push and come back up. So you can work on that to both sides as well. 
This exercise I like to do closer to four to five months of age when infants are starting to work on sitting on the ground as well. Um, at that point, they'll have good enough head control to maintain them, their head posture up and sitting, and you're really working on engaging that core piece. Um, and you can start to work on some of those writing reactions. When they've been sitting for a couple weeks and have at least the ability to maintain a little bit of that upright posture is when you can start to work on those writing reactions. If you have any questions regarding this video or your infant's care in general, we would be more than happy to answer those questions. Please feel free to reach out. Thanks so much.